fight number eight. Weight class. All right, Ernesto, thank you so much for commenting. Thank you also. It was an honor Rune once again. KWU we will switch now. Contact. Thank you so much. I'll the see referee you later. will be Zachary Damianov. Now let's welcome the fighter in the red corner, Nikola Filipovic from Serbia. championship belt in 2018. Now, let's welcome the fighter in the blue corner, the new Voivodkin from Ukraine. Today, there are such interesting fights. There are 8 fights and only one goal. We can say that the level of sports players is high, good and the fights are interesting. We had a bit of mic problem, but it's okay now. Yes. I would say that uh, the fights here are really interesting. Daniel uh, really is fighters. from Ukraine. He's uh, 21 uh, years old. He's a so European Kyokushin the level champion. Is really high. Kyokushin World Cup champion. Voivodkin is also Ukrainian K1 champion and eight times national Kyokushin champion. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fight time. Okay, we're moving into the heavyweights now. This will be our first heavyweight clash tonight. You have self, uh, yourself have competed in the heavyweight division. Tell us, are you excited to see the big boys in the ring of Senshi now? Когда выступает тяжело, это всегда интересно, потому что тяжелый вес, каждый удар может стать решающим. The fights in the heavyweight uh, are really interesting because uh, they're really strong and uh, each punch may be the last one. Вот сейчас мы видим, так сказать, разведку небольшую. Бойцы за территорию за территорию борются. Now uh, we see that uh, they are like playing with each other and uh, they fight for the territory. So this will be a debut for uh, Filipovic here in the ring of Senshi, but Voivodkin is an European uh, Senshi Open champion uh, from Kamchia this year. He's already experienced. Uh, we see that uh, he's preferred him to fight in uh, South Pole while his opponent is having an orthodox stance. Uh, is it uh, really uncomfortable to fight with somebody with a switch stance, with a south pole stance? Uh, this is a debut for Philip. Voivodkin uh, has already played on the European stage. And he asked how it is to play on the European stage. Voivodkin saw in Kamchi how he played on the European Yes. И он проявил себя э, как характерный стойкий боец, потому что в финале он победу прямо вырвал, можно так сказать. Там принципиально такой бой был, у него был соперник тяжелее его килограмм на 25, наверное, если мне память не изменяет. Uh, I saw fights of Voivodkin on uh, uh, KW European uh, Championship Senshi and I can say that he is a really strong uh, fighter because... Oh, oh now a oh, nice oh, left hook by Filipovic. This will be a first knockdown in the match. Will Voivodkin come back from this knockdown? He's a true warrior, true fighter. Let's see if he can bounce back. Oh, now another left hook by Filipovic. 
Сейчас мне кажется, что Филиппович будет заканчивать бой. Now I, I think that Filipovich will end the fight. So there is one minute left uh, on the clock. Uh, do you think that Filipovich could go for the kill right now, or don't be so much eager to finish the fight and be more uh, calculated in his actions? Нет, мне кажется, будет уже второй раунд. No, I think that uh, there will be round two. Воеводкин восстановился, но Воеводкин опускает руки. Во время своей атаки и может попасться на встречный удар. Воеводкин now is ready to fight, but uh, he put his arms down, so he uh, can miss the punch in the head. How hard it is to come back after a knockdown like this? And what is the most important thing you should do? Should you stay in the clinch? Should you try not to show your opponent that you're hurt? What is the thing that you should advise fighters when you have experience like you? Насколько тяжело восстановиться после такого удара и что ты бы ты бы посоветовал бойцам в таком случае идти в клинч или не показывать то, что ты как бы вязать соперника в клинче, не давать ничего делать и восстанавливаться вариант только такой, так как ноги Just be in the clinch and don't give a chance to your opponent opponents to hit you one more time. Если посмотреть статистику, то в основном соперники идут добивать. И если видят, что, ну, делая серию, видят, что, что человек, который только что был в нокдауне, вроде защищается и стоит, ну, тогда они отпускают. If the opponent see that uh, the fighter who was in the knockdown, uh, he is uh, trying to avoid uh, other punches in the head, they uh, go. In this case, what happened to Filipovic and Filipovic? So they prefer to continue on the uh, second round. Thank you. So thank you very much. 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 He seems a bit wobbled still, but uh, he's pushing the pace. Filipovic is a bit more calm now. Oh. oh, that was a slip. That wouldn't count as a knockdown. Voivodkin now uh, will try to uh, be dominant in the round. Because the last round was definitely a 10-8, so he needs to win this round and the next round. At least, or, or score a knockdown, right? Ему нужно сделать как минимум это один нокдаун. Yes. А для того, чтобы выиграть, это либо два 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 три два нокдауна, либо нокдаун. Uh, he has to do an, at least one knockdown, uh, and if he wants to win, uh, he has to do two or three knockdowns. Вот видим, что Воеводкин начинает прессинговать своего соперника. We now see that Воеводкин is trying to be dominant. Но это не приводит к никакому результату. But there is no result. Both fighters really showing hearts of champions and pushing the pace and giving their all. They know that this could be their only opportunity to fight in the rings of Sensi. Oh, now a nice hook by Filipovic. Чуть опять не поймал. Вот Филипповича вижу в первый раз, но видно, что он технически очень хороший боец. I see Filipovic the first time, but it's obvious that he's really technical fighter. What thing is more important in the heavyweight division? To have a good cardio or to have a really strong punch? Как ты думаешь, что самое важное в тяжелом весе, чтобы у тебя было хорошее кардио или чтобы удары были мощные? Чтобы все это было все вместе. To combine this. Yes. Потому что если брать даже бокс профессиональный, 15 раундов. Тяжелый вес тоже по 15 раундов боксирует. Поэтому кардио должно быть на сцене. Вот видим, что Филиппович пропустил встречный удар. We see that fighters are getting tired now. Final 20 seconds of round two. A nice left hook attempt by Filipovic. So far, I think the boxing in the hands of Filipovic are better, and 
His left hook, I think, is his best weapon. What do you think? Он думает, что у Филиппа очень хорошие руки, и его лучший удар это левый хук. Да, слева он часто пробивает. Yeah, he agrees with you, and he sees that Filipovic is really often punched by his left hand. И в основном на в основном на на встречу. And mostly straight. So this was the end of round two. It was a really, really close round. How do you score this round? Who, who do you think wins this round two? Как ты думаешь, кто выиграл второй раунд, Кичка? Второй раунд я поставил ровненький тут, более-менее ровненький. Ну, Филиппович, как бы, можно сказать, что его выиграл, но не было видно, что. He played the same round, but. With a little bit more on the Filip the Filipovic okay. side. So with what he needs to use all of his mental strength, all of his physical strength to win this third round, if he wants to win his uh, fight here and continue his winning streak in the ring of Senshi, or we're gonna see Filipovic winning his debut here at Senshi, beginning of round three. Let's see. Вот сейчас решающий раунд. Если Воеводкин хочет выиграть, ему необходимо сейчас побеждать. If he wants to win, he should win now. As I've already said, the minimum is to do a knockdown. As I've already said, the minimum is to do a knockdown. Yeah, we saw a lot of extra rounds tonight, so I wouldn't be surprised if we see another extra round. The match, the matchmaking is really good so far. We saw that the fights were really close, really evenly matched. How do you score the matchmaking of Senshi Ten? У нас сегодня было много продолжений дополнительных раундов, и это, в принципе, неплохо, но как бы ты прокомментировал это что? По поводу четырех раундов? По поводу дополнительных раундов. How, how well the, the fighters are matched compared to ну, each как, other's level? Как они, хорошо ли они соотнесены, то есть хорошо ли подобраны партнеры для них друг за другом? Партнеры подобраны хорошо. Yeah, they're matched well? Да. У них уровень знаков? И если есть продолжение, значит... Не выяснено, кто из них лучше. If there are additional rounds, it means that they are really strong, both of them. Yes. So they are matched really well. Yes, yes, yes. Compliments to the matchmaking team of Senshi organization. Really high level of fighters fighting each other. Every every one of them has been in a high caliber so far. Сейчас просто видим обмен ударов, ударами, они не акцентированы, легкие, просто набрасывают. No, they're like playing with each other, just punches, but their uh, their hits are not accented. Yes, uh, they're really, really tired now. One minute and fifteen left in the round three. Осталось минут пятнадцать. Let's who has the will to win now. What I think now, the last minute, it's more important than physical strength and technique. Is the mental strength and the willingness to win in the last minute? What do you think? Он говорит, что последнюю минуту самое важное это именно желание воли к победе, а не даже технические какие-то преимущества или еще что-то такое. Последнюю минуту важен характер и желание победить. In the last minute, the main thing is the will to win and the character of a person. Если есть желание победить, ты идешь вперед и бьешь. If you have a desire to win, you just go straight and hit. Но ты при этом понимаешь, что либо ты выиграешь, либо тебя выиграют. Because you understand that you or your. В данном случае Воеводкин в проигрышной ситуации. Now Воеводкин is losing. Вот и у него есть 19 секунд уже, чтобы сделать накаут. Good combination. Now we see both fighters are willing to give their all and leave everything in the ring of Senshi here to get the W. Nice combination here by Filipovic. Wow, what a fight! What a fight! Great fight! Great performance by both of the fighters. They really gave their all in the ring. What do you think? Они реально отдали все, что они могли в ринге. Что ты думаешь? Бой получился хороший, интересный. It was nice, interesting fight. Yeah. Well. I wouldn't tell them to take their gloves off because we might see another round. Я бы не сказала им снимать свои перчатки, потому что, возможно, мы увидим еще один раунд. Yeah, it's really possible. Yeah. Возможно. I don't want to be in the judges' seat right now. Я бы не хотел сейчас судить. It's a very hard decision. Очень сложное решение. По моему мнению, Филиппович выиграл. As I think, Филиппович won.
Yes, that knockdown in the first round might have been the decisive factor. The shoot knockdown, да. He agrees with this. Let's see. Если бы этого knockdown не было, то можно было бы, мне кажется, дать дополнительный раунд. If there won't be this knockdown, uh, there might be an additional round, but it won't. So yeah. we'll just, just one moment of not paying Ladies attention and to close to the fight, yeah? The judges in have the made their decision. Winner by unanimous decision, the fighter in the red corner, Nikola Filipovic from Serbia. Nikola Filipovic from Serbia makes a successful debut here. He will here get a Senshi belt and a Senshi cup, and the award will be given by Shikhan Antonio Pinero, president of Kyokushin World Federation. Yes, I'm sure with this performance he will definitely get an invite by the organization of Senshi again. It's always good when you see good heavyweights with good technique, good cardio, because we know there's there's a lot of talent in the lighter divisions, but in the heavyweight division it's really hard to find good talent, yeah? Nowadays, like back in the back ну, такая тенденция, что тяжи как-то не очень технически, технически подкованы. Многое зависит от тренера, что тренер преподает. И когда человек начинает заниматься боевыми искусствами, Какую технику ему заложат изначально, так он дальше и пойдет. It's really important when a person starts doing martial arts. It's really important what coaches will teach him, how they will teach him.